How do tax credits work for real estate? In this video, you're gonna understand the buffet of tax credits that are available for real estate homeowners where you live in the home. And in part two of this video, I'm gonna talk about investment property and the benefits for taxation there as well. Do you know that the government supports you owning real estate? and has all kinds of special things in the tax code designed to help you reduce your tax bill so that you can own real estate that you live in or own real estate as an investor. The government encourages and wants help with people and we're gonna show you why and some of the benefits right here, right now. So the first thing I wanna to explain to you in terms of tax benefits is the mortgage interest deduction. When you own your own home, you get to eliminate some of your taxes by reducing your taxable income and I'm gonna show you here how that's done. If you typically rent an apartment or a house, you're gonna have rent of say $1,200 a month, okay? That's your rent, right? But if you buy a home, your payment, let's say it's $1,500 a month. And that P-I-T-I -I means your principal on your loan, your interest on your loan, the, your property taxes, and your insurance. Insurance for what? For fire or damage, right? So if the house burns down, the mortgage company can get paid off, okay? And you can get whatever you put into the property as well. Does that make sense? So. Your mortgage is often called PITI, and PITI means principal, which is the mortgage, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. So say your payment's 1,500, okay? The interest and the taxes are deductible off your tax return. Off of what? Off your income within the limits. Check with your accountant what your limits are, but this is a general idea of how it works. The interest and taxes, let's say on this $1,500 payment are 1,300. So maybe you pay $100 a month in principal and $100 a month in taxes. So for this example, rent's $1,200, our mortgage is $15, it seems that we're paying $300 more to own a home. But in actual fact, we may be paying less. So $1,200 in rent, if you have $50,000 in income, guess what? $50,000 worth of income, you pay taxes on $50,000 because you rent. But when you own a home, that 50,000, so the interest and the taxes at $1,300 of this $1,500 payment times 12 is 15,700. So after tax, after tax, your 50,000, right, now becomes 34,300 by deducting the interest and the taxes, which you're allowed to do. In many states, it's up to $10,000 for the taxes and the interest is deductible depending upon your income and how much interest you have on your loan. But this is just a simple example that works for most people. So this 34.3 is how much you're gonna pay taxes on. So what are you not paying taxes on? You're not paying taxes on the 15.7. So if we have 15.7, we're not paying taxes on, right? And our tax rate is say 30%, how much are we saving? Well, let's just say that's about 30% of that. Let's say it's about $5,000 in taxes, okay? 5,000 divided by 12 is what? It's about $420 a month, plus or minus, okay? So $420 a month from this, this is after tax, right? $420 a month is what? 1,080, 1,080. So after tax, our house payment may be 1,080, we're renting maybe 1200, you get it? So what happened here is that by looking at a property after tax, the payment after tax is often lower than renting. And that tax benefit is why many people will pay an even higher loan. They may even pay something like rent is 1200, maybe their payment might be say 1800. And it's almost a break even or $100 more to own the home after tax. So when you go to evaluate a piece of property for yourself to live in, you and your family, it's important that you consider after tax. I often hear people say, well, I can't afford an $1,800 a month payment, but they're paying $1,300 in rent. Well, 
Of course they can afford an $1,800 a month payment because after tax, their rent and their payment are almost the same. It might be a $100 swing either way. So you have to consider the after tax. And many people don't buy a home because they think they can't afford it, but they don't realize the tax benefit of the mortgage interest deduction, which is critical in evaluating your ability to pay. And the banks will do that as well. You know, the key to being successful in real estate is you gotta subscribe, my friend. Okay, I'm here to help you and I wanna help you and we have to communicate. And the only way that I'm gonna be able to communicate with you at the moment is for you to watch these videos and learn how to earn and learn how to invest. So go ahead and subscribe. I'm here to help you. It doesn't cost you anything, just join right now. So these tax benefits have helped a lot of your family and maybe your parents or your grandparents to develop wealth and here's how. As you have a house that maybe they buy for $200,000 or $500,000, depending on the market, over time, that house may go up in value to instead of being worth $200,000 or $500,000, maybe now it's worth six fifty. dollars And what has happened is that the cost of owning that home has been reduced by taxes being saved over the years. Okay, so after 20 years or so of owning a home, and all those deductions, you've literally have this property that's growing in value, but you have the government helping you pay for it. How about that? So a lot of you think the government doesn't help you. Well, the tax law helps you a lot. It helps you to reduce your costs to stay in this home, which typically over time goes up in value. Because why? Because land goes up in value over time. There's only so much of it. The other thing that goes up in value is the cost to build property. The other thing that goes up in cost are attaching the water and the sewer to the house. These were done years ago. So all those costs raise the cost of a house. So when you're able to stay in one and have the government help you with the mortgage interest deduction, you can grow equity, pay down your home and have a place to live. It's the ultimate in real estate investing and how most people in America build wealth in their home. They get to use the home. It goes up in value over time, especially over long periods of time, typically. And they have this government tax benefit, which helps them to stay in their home and make their payment. So I'll see you on the next part of this video where I'm gonna explain now the benefits of being an investor and how as an investor, there's a host of tax benefits which help you to continue to own property and to write off your expenses of owning the property and providing housing, which the government wants you to do. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.